along with the new normal. So the reason that I'm coming on here today is to tell you guys about a new company here in the United States called Medically Minded. They have a hand sanitizer gel and different moisturizers in it. This would be it right here. And my best friend, Carenzo, has partnered with this company. And so, as you already know, most of the hand sanitizers, most of the hand sanitizers that we do purchase from the grocery stores, they are outsourced from other countries. So, this hand sanitizer um, by Medically Minded is made right here in the United States. And it's really, really affordable, too. It's $7.99 a bottle. And the email address for it is www.greenconceptsco.com. So that's where you can go to order it. And um, I just got mine today. And I will be carrying this in my purse. And what I really like about it is it's ergonomic also. So it fits really well in your hand if you just don't have anything to carry it in. And it has like a really cool like spout or I don't know what to call that. Dispenser. <laughs> a dispenser head. And you just squirt it a few times and saturate your hands. And it evaporates really, really easy. So if you guys are interested in getting this, go to that uh, web address that I gave you and order yours today and support things made in the United States. And it's also on Instagram. GCG702. GCG702. That's the handle for Instagram. So, okay, guys. So what's everybody been doing? What's been going on? Are you guys tired of the new normal? Because guess what Giovanni is? I'm tired of it. Hello from Paris, France. William Jack Knight. Hello. Arabian Hope. Hello. Gone. There's some trolls on my live already. Hey, that just comes with the territory, Kent. Gotta love the trolls. They have nothing to do. Hello, Lulu671309. So, yes, so I'm currently over here hanging out with Yasmin. Um, we were at my house last night, and we had jalapeno margaritas. And then I also barbecued a slab of ribs and some chicken and made some potato salad that they ate. <laughs> so... Just doing something for her because she works long hours and works very hard with being pretty much in the front lines like she does. So, yeah, just over chilling like a villain at Yasmin's house. It's nice to have uh, someplace else to go to because I also do work from home uh, Monday through Friday. So I'm in the house. And if I'm. in the house I'm sitting on the bench in my front yard if I'm not in my front yard I'm out in the back by the pool so it's like going to the front going to the back going upstairs to the loft it's like I'm home and the only time I do leave out is to pick up groceries and <laughs> that's a disaster each and every time um my last order you know because i try to eat organically um when we were first shut down here in las vegas i was running around getting food wherever i could and so i ended up getting you know oh my gosh just like i cannot eat non-organic chicken it has like i can eat it when it's freshly cooked it has this god awful metal like any taste. It's just 
able to get um, some more organic meats, but we are having a meat shortage here um, in Las Vegas. So organic is pretty, pretty hard to come by. So when they do start to make sure I get some. And also I'm going on a little diet. I've been preparing my mind for starting on Monday. So I've got a lot of Greek yogurt and bone broths, all organic. Um, what else? I would like sugar-free juice, protein powder, you know, things of that nature. But you know what, guys? I am just so tired of cooking. It's just like outrageous. I'm like over it. I don't enjoy cooking anymore. I just do it. But now I'm just like over it. I need for somebody to be cooking for me. And then I actually need them to feed it to me. <laughs> I need to sit in a little high chair for adults and be fed my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> okay, let me stop acting retarded. Okay. Oh, so Anissa underscore Max, you say, I wasn't trying to bother her, just asking a question. What kind of question are you trying to ask Giovanni? <laughs> what do you want to ask Giovanni? Kayla underscore H90. Girl, I, I am like so over it. And it's like, all you do is just eat and eat and eat and eat because there ain't shit else to do. Yes. I just can't deal. It's like food is so necessary, but at this point, I feel like I'm abusing it because I'm sitting in the house. And plus, I smoke Newport shorts. So when I was going to work every day, you know, a, a pack of cigarettes would last me Maybe about four days because I'm sharing with people and all this other stuff. How about now I'm like smoking a pack a day because there's no rules and regulations at my house regarding cigarette smoking. So that's another thing that I'm looking into is to trying to quit smoking cigarettes. So I do have to say this. Hello, my name is Giovanni Jackson and I'm addicted. <laughs> An AA group for, no, what is it called? Newport's Anonymous? I need to go to that because I swear, I don't have a cigarette. The sky is falling, literally. Okay, so I'm still waiting for this person to ask me a question. Now, I hope that this person that wants to ask me a question uh, really thinks about what they want to ask. And I hope it's something that would be appropriate to ask me because it's, if it's not, it could go south. But I'm just, I gave the advisory, so I'm waiting. You're going to have to type it again because I was looking away. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. She does not miss Mike because she never really grew up with him or supported him in his trial. So that was DJ West Wiesa. Okay, so suddenly we have good people that are psychic and they know how I feel and they're inside my head and they are just making these assumptions. So let me just go ahead and clear this up for you so that there's no misunderstandings. You do not know whether or not I miss my brother or not. Nobody would know that but me. And to be quite honest with you, there is an old adage that says you can't miss something that you've never had. Now, with saying that, I will say this. Anybody that leaves this earth that is your family member, whether or not you had a relationship or not with them, there is some form of missing that person. I think the whole world misses my brother. Actually, I wrote about it in my book. Feel free to go online to Walmart or to Barnes and Nobles and get your ebook copy today. And then you can read about how I feel. 
I hope I answered your question. Anybody have anything else to say? Silence. Anybody have anything else they want to ask? Thank you so much, ISIA453. I'm just telling the truth. You know, these uh, individuals that think that they know my family better than I do <laughs> are really bananas. Really bananas. Nobody can make a prejudgment on me like that and tell me anything of that nature because you just don't know what you're talking about. So sit down and stay sitting down in front of your computer with nothing to do but sit up here and try to create bullshit and rumors. Don't you know that God is watching you? God sees everything and knows everybody's heart. So you got to be careful about what you say to people and how you treat people. That's all I have to say. So, on that note, to the person that tried to get funky with me today on my live, would you please kiss my ass? Deuces. <laughs> they probably like to spit this. This is delayed. It's still going. <laughs> Let me see. Look at this. This flag.